With Futures at Chaley Heritage, we're building a life skills centre to help young disabled adults make the transition from school to adulthood. The life skills centre that we're setting up is not an extension of the school. It is separate. This is about calling to an age group of 19 to 25 year olds who want something different but just happen to have a physical disability that means they can't access all the services that are in their local community. Success looks like young people with a physical disability using the centre and enjoying using the centre, so enjoying using the facilities of the centre. Success looks like young people coming in and out using different bits that they choose to use, using the cafe and meeting their friends and uh, perhaps their extended family or taking the carers in there. Success looks like a group of young people laughing and using the activities that are on offer. All these activities are coordinated by a dedicated team of professionals. It's going to be so, so lovely just to see the friendships blossom from people coming in, doing a session, then maybe meeting with friends in the calf and, you know, it just, it just opens a whole, whole new mm. level. Yes, it will, because it will just bring in other people and will give the opportunity to build friendships because I find if they're going out into the community, they tend to stay in their little groups. There is a huge need, yeah. especially when we're trying to get the young adults out there to be part of a community. It's nice that the community can come here and be be part of Cheney, so it's, it's quite nice. I think the girls are looking forward to the beautician and the jacuzzi and that side of things. For me, the, probably the most pleasing thing and the most wonderful thing is seeing how, how the young adults have developed more and more as people are becoming more confident and sort of football and sports helps them with that. It's just so pleasing to see how much they enjoy it and how much it brings to their lives, how confident they, they become and, and that's just for me the best part of all this. The Life Skills Centre will be able to take up to 30 young people at any one time and a session at a Life Skills Centre could be an hour or two hours long. So we expect that at some point we could take up to 90 young people in any one day. And these young people will not only come from the immediate locality, but could also come from other areas of the South East. For this group of young adults, the facilities that we're building here just aren't readily available. Here we are looking at an overview of the new Life Skills Centre. We're coming in through the front entrance, through to the day centre, through the lobby, where there is a cafe on the right, open to all. Young people who want to use the Life Skills Centre will come through into this area where we've got the gym on the left, changing rooms. Here we've got a section through the three floors. The only activity for the young people on the second floor is the ICT suite, which will include music, film, DVDs, access to the internet. We've got staff area in the arts and crafts room where we'll have a small kiln. Young people might want to do pottery and because these young people need to be able to get up onto the second floor, we have incorporated two lifts both fireproof, both able to take two young people in wheelchairs and their carers. The courtyard, the accessible gym, where young people will be able to access equipment not really available to them anywhere else to keep them fit and healthy. Lots of outside space round to the remodelled southern end and this is a section through the sunroom where they'll be able to do pilates and yoga and other fitness training. And here we're on the eastern side where the young people who are residential here will be able to access the Life Skills Centre through their own entrance. The building work started in February this year and we're almost halfway through. The project is on time and on budget and it is due to open in February 2013. But as ever, Chaley's enthusiasm has already been caught by many, many understanding and very generous people. But the last part of an appeal is always the hardest. So maybe you will forgive me if I have no shame in saying please. We do need your help to reach our target and in so doing give all those young people who are waiting for us the security that they need 
to know that in 2013 the doors will open. Thank you.